People ask, why would I want to do a chemical peel? Well, this is why. I'm 44 years old. I had acne for 15 years from about age 16 to 31 years old. Peels were actually finally the thing that purged the acne from my system and helped repair the damage that it caused. I also, I mean, my skin is a hot mess right now, but I also have not gotten Botox. I haven't gotten fillers. Like this is just the face of a 45 year old woman without, I mean, look, I have full movement on my face. So people ask me that all the time. Do you get Botox? Do you get fillers? No, it's peels. I have done peels now for about, let's see, 15 years myself. Um, I don't do them every year. Just depends on the year. Some years I'll do mild. Some peels I'll do stronger, medium depth ones like this. But peels have changed my skin and they end up being a lot cheaper than the injectables. Peels are going to immediately improve your texture. They're going to reduce fine lines and wrinkles. They are going to remove um, pigmentation as you do more of them. As the peels go deeper and deeper in the skin, it's going to remove pigment out. Um, and it boosts collagen production. It's also a form, it's actually a form of CIT, which is known as collagen induction therapy, just like microneedling and lasers. But it forced two different types of collagen production, type one and type three. Um, one of the types, I think it's type one, peaks at the three week mark. That's why your skin looks so phenomenal three weeks post peel. It's just a glowing. And then at the six month mark is when the type three collagen really hits its peak and kicks up in the skin. So as you age, if you really want to keep that collagen production kicked into gear, you have to keep doing things that cause collagen induction therapy to help the collagen stay stimulated in your tissues. They make you younger. They make you younger. Okay, with this lighting, you can see what's going on a little bit more. So here is day four from peel application, day three post peel. I did wash my face this morning because it was grossing me out and I couldn't handle it anymore. But this is kind of why I try to avoid having clients wash their face as much as possible during the peeling process. Because as you can see like this flaking up here, that's just naturally coming off on its own. But this right here, see how this is kind of roly poly? This is where the cleanser that I used softened the skin a little bit and the water softened it a little bit. So the skin can come off prematurely. And sometimes when the skin comes off prematurely, when it's not ready and it's a deeper peel, this can create a lot of redness and irritation. But here's where we're at. We still have this whole cheek, most of this cheek, the center here, my eyebrows, my under eyes have not peeled yet. I'm super stoked on that. And then my chin is beginning.